Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of G News, the only show where you get all of your gay in just one day with us. Your hosts, Elsa Dulé. And Lisa Cohen. We have a lot of news this week. Yes, we do. Rosie O'Donnell gets a brand new view. <laughs> new study, gay parents raise happier children. The LGBT community is fighting back against ENDA. And the West Virginia DMV called trans it. It's a shame. But I want Tyler Posey to lick my toes. All of that and so much more on this week's G News. <laughs> G News is having a party. Woohoo! Yeah. Yes. At Trax next Wednesday, the 23rd. We're partnering with Left Magazine. You guys remember Left Magazine, the July issue dance later. Yum. Well, D G News and Left Magazine are getting together with Devotion Vodka. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a big party on, the, on Wednesday, the 23rd. So you guys get to come out and check us out. And you have to check out Devotion Vodka. <sighs> Stuff is amazing. It's sugar free, it's gluten free, which means it's guilt free, and there's no hangover. I want one. You want one? Yes. Let's have one now. I think so. Let's use our, our glitter powers. Ugh. Glitter Good powers, powers activate. activate. Woo! Pink. Cosmos. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, sweetie. Taste it. Mm. Oh. It's really, really good. And so it, the flavor's already in there. You just add a little bit of cranberry juice, but it's already a Cosmo. Sugar-free, gluten-free, yummy. So you're going to have to come to Trax Bar on the 23rd and taste it for yourself. No guilt. No guilt. They're going to have all the flavors, but this is, mm, this that's is my good. favorite. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell is coming back to The View. Yes. I know. I'm so excited. I missed her. I know. I did too. Mm -hmm. And I always hated Hasselbech. <laughs> Blech. Hasselblach. <laughs> well, she is not even on The View any longer, but when she heard the news about Rosie O'Donnell coming back, she was on vacation and she called in to her current show, Fox and Friends, just to spit out all this evil against Rosie O'Donnell. She should yeah. just move on. <laughs> She's got her stupid position on her stupid show at Fox and Friends, which is where all conservative blondes go to die. So we have a photo from a local San Francisco journalist. He reposted this famous photo on his Facebook page, and it shows all of the Fox female anchors all in one grid, and it's kind of spooky. They're all blonde. All and blonde. Identical looking. Well, Ugh. there you have it. Yeah. Elizabeth Hassel, Hassel bitch. <laughs> <laughs> go away. <laughs> Two transitioning people went to their respective West Virginia DMVs to update their licenses. Not only were they treated with hostility and called it, but they were told they had to remove their jewelry, their wigs, and their makeup. It's awful. Oh my gosh. They are suing, and of course we support, but come on. Yeah. We're going to follow that story really closely and make sure that they win, because that's just ridiculous. Well, it is West Virginia. And it is the DMV, is so. So seven of the top LGBT and civil rights organizations are backing away from their support for ENDA. That's the Employment Non-Discrimination Act. The law is you cannot discriminate against race, sex, national origin, age, disability, or genetic information. But they want to add language that says you can discriminate against sexuality and sexual orientation. So you have a non-discriminatory act where you can discriminate. Right. So, which is just ridiculous. So they're saying that until they remove that piece, they're not going to support it and they're going to try to stop it from going to Congress. So we're going to follow that too because that's a bunch of crazy. You know, no more husbands, no more wives. Not in California. Not in California. Now it's spouse and spouse. Oh, and you know my love of Senator Mark Leno. I do and I share it. <laughs> Mark Leno and Jerry Brown mm -hmm. put together legislation to remove the language that says husband and wife and it says spouse spouses. and spouse, so equality for all spouses. <laughs> it doesn't really change the law. We're still no. protected here Absolutely. in California for same-sex marriage, but it changes all the language in all of the documentation to read spouse and spouse. So, and as, as Mark says, this legislation removes outdated and biased language from state codes, which recognizes all spouses equally. So, thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> the University of Melbourne conducted a study that found that children of LGBT parents scored higher on measures of cohesion and health than the general public. They were happier. They were happier. Yes. So all of your moms and dads, you should go talk to your mom and moms, or dads and dads, or non-conforming, non-conforming parents, and find out what they're doing right. So this is the cutest story. They appeared in the Chicago Phoenix. Rafi D'Angelo is a New York blogger, New York City blogger, and he was riding the train going to work into New York City, and he overheard a conversation by two New York uh, blue-collar, you know, workers. Yeah, you're just an average Joe's having a conversation. He was so moved by the conversation that he recorded it, and then he transcribed it into an article that appeared in the Chicago Phoenix. I found it on out.com when I was looking up for stuff for Rosie. <laughs> but it was tucked away in a little corner um, of the website, and I'm so glad that I clicked on it because it's the most adorable conversation. And Lisa and I are going to read it for you um, as it sounded probably to Rafi. 
We're hoping it sounded like this. I'm going to play the part as Charlie, and she's going to play the part of Pat. And it starts off with, My wife wants me to get fixed like a dog, but I don't understand why she can't keep taking the pill. No more kids for you two? No, she figures we're both too old for that. How's your boy anyway? Haven't seen him in a while. Oh, John's good. Pitching for varsity this year. He'll definitely have the girls hanging around him now. Yeah, if he has time for them. Focused on baseball? Focused on boys. You shitting me. <laughs> I kid you not. Came out to me and Marianne bold as daylight last year. Well, I'll be damned. I'm not supposed to know it, but I overheard Patrick Jr. tell his sister he might be gay not two months ago. Well, we saw that coming, though. You're the second person to say that. How did everybody see it but me? Oh, it's just a feeling, Pat. You know, he's uh, always been a little soft, you know? Well, I guess you're right. But damn, Charlie, we both have gay, gay kids. What do we do now? Both our sons are gay. We don't do anything. We let them be gay. And if some kid calls them a faggot, we go to their house and raise holy hell with their parents, just like normal. Well, I guess John and Lucinda won't be getting together like we thought a while ago. Guess not. Then there's a long pause. Hey, Charlie, you thinking what I'm thinking? I was for about half a second, then it got weird, and I started thinking about something else instead. <laughs> so obviously they wanted to get their boys together. The boys together. together. <laughs> so Rafi says that he got a little tear in his eye, but then the guys started, I guess that freaked them out a little bit, so they started talking about building codes and, and other things. I love it. But I know, and then he wraps up the story saying, uh, welcome to the 21st century America, this is family. So that was a just awesome story. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Thank you, Rafi, for sharing it. Thank you, Out.com, for posting it, and also the Chicago Phoenix. Absolutely. I think that's awesome. Thank you, jo Charlie and Pat. I know, Charlie and Pat. Thanks, Charlie and Pat. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank wow. you for being cool. Cool dads. Yeah. So you know Tyler Posey. Yes. Well, you know him from Teen Wolf. Oh, but, right. <laughs> yeah, right? that. Yeah. Yes, Tyler Posey is the star of Teen Wolf. Oh, he's so hot. He was on the set. I guess there was some downtime, and the, and the actor that plays the coach, I guess, it hurt his foot. And so then there were some um, photos that were taken, some selfies of him licking the coach's foot. <laughs> Tyler, you can come lick my feet anytime you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> Keep those photos coming. <laughs> Internet star Nash Greer shoved his homophobic foot in his homophobic mouth. This kid, I mean, he's just a kid. He's like 18 or 19 years old. He's 18. Yeah. He has, but he's a huge internet star. He's got 8.7 million followers. And he decided to post this homophobic uh, statement. He took this PSA, this public service announcement, and he edited it down. The announcement said that AIDS is not a gay disease, um, that everybody, it affects everybody. Well, he edited that down and then inserted his own face saying, yes, it does, faggot. But out of all of the people that have been lambasting him for it, which rightfully so, mm -hmm. one stuck out in particular. Tyler Oakley. I love Tyler Oakley. <laughs> well, he, he went to Twitter and he, he posted this. He said, call me and people like me fag all you want, but spreading false information about deadly diseases is next level. So I really am happy that he stepped up because, you know, obviously he's, he's gay and he has his own show. He's up there with, with, um, with Nash as far as popularity. So I'm glad that he, he stepped up and did something. Thank you, Tyler. And I've had a longstanding crush on um, Tyler for a very, very long time. I've followed his career since he lived here in San Francisco, and um, that's why he's my crush of the week. Mm. Look at him. <laughs> we should get the Tyler and Tyler's together, do a whole little foot licking session. Tyler has the cutest feet. When he broke his foot, he was on the show. He's got the little Flintstone foot. Okay. They're all the same. I was going to ask you how you know about his feet. Same size because he showed his foot on the camera. It was broken. Anyway, I'll lick your toes, Tyler. Tyler, <laughs> both, Tyler. Both Tyler's. <laughs> Look who's here. It's my sister-in-law, Heather Knight. That's my kiss. That's my kiss on her cheek. Hey, Thanks, Hi, Heather. Guys. So, Heather, tell us about the Robot Film Festival. Robot Short Films. We're going to spoof the Oscars with the Botskers. The and, Botskers. <laughs> and love that. You're great. And your fabulous host will be there. I'll post the link to the, to the Robot Film Festival. She does this every summer. There's a Robot Film Festival. They're all robot-geared uh, films. Because Heather's a roboticist. She's super smart. Yeah. And pretty. And Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. So that's it for this week's episode of G News, the only show where you get all of your gay in just one day with us, your hosts, Elsa Dulé. And Lisa Cohen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you'll never miss an episode. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. He made a statement. He tweeted. Twitted. <laughs> Did I just say that? He tweeted. He tweeted.
<laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. It's also team on measures. Look not quite as bored. <laughs> on measures so of health and cohesion. Kind of looking out the space. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to it. You ready? I am. You weren't ready, though. I was. I was okay. smiling. <laughs> Do you want to fuck with your hair? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, not you mention it. So you're going to have to come to Tracks Bar just, on the 23rd. I just flipped my hair. Sorry. <laughs> fucking hair. Wait, 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 <laughs> it's the damn hair again. I can't take it anymore. Can I try to start it? We're going to get you some new hair. Next no. episode, no. she's going to be in a wig. Let's do it again. Ready? Uh -huh. Nope. Yes. Are you sure? I am, no. Yeah. No, yeah. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get it out. This has to go into the hair. I'm going to be drawing <laughs> braids a second.